Hi, so I did a video on how to drive the Chinese diesel uh, heater with the six fan blade black controller. Uh, nearly three or a million views, loads of people said it was really helpful because the Chinese instructions are hard. I broke it down step by step by step, so it's really easy to understand. So I'm glad I helped a load of people. However, I don't think I did a good enough job at describing the primary function or more specifically, when not to use a primary function, okay? So you're gonna see a chunk of that video in a minute describing how the, the priming system works. However, if you've got just a short run from your pump to your heater, you may be better off just by pressing the go button because that will fire things up and start moving the, the diesel through the pipe. Uh, and if it doesn't reach the, the heater in time before it stops, what will happen, you'll just get an error eight message and you just press go again and eventually it'll get into the uh, heater and hit the glow plug. Uh, and of course, each time you do that, the glow plug's coming on, so it is hitting your battery. If you've got a healthy battery, that is good. And I think in those circumstances, it's probably better than using the actual priming function that is designed into the machine. And I've got a short run, so I actually rarely use that priming function now. And the reason I say that is because when the juice does arrive into the heater, that glow plug is already hot and ready to go and it will ignite it. Whereas if you use the primary function, the glow plug isn't on, so there's a danger that if you do, do it too much, you'll get juice going into the heater without that glow plug alight and you could flood it. And then when it does fire, we've got all the white smoke issue. Okay, so take a view on it. I mean, just you can just do use the, the primer, keep an eye on it. And I'm gonna show you how to use that prime function in a minute. But I would say, if you've got a short run, healthy battery, just keep hitting the go button and you'll then be sure that you won't flood the heater. Okay, so before I do it, I'd also say that at the end of this video, there's a link to that uh, instruction video that I talked about. But also, I've got a couple of other heater videos in there, like how to pair your remote, how to pair more than one remote. Uh, perceived wisdom is you can only pair one remote that is wrong by clone you can use more than uh, pair more than one and also how to turn your heater on and off by sending a text from your mobile phone a little gizmo there which is great if you're out for a walk you want to come back 20 minutes before you get back to your van fire up your heater anyway this is how to prime if you feel you want to use the priming function okay so you need to prime the machine get the juice into the pipes before you kick off now look here's my pipe here the other end's in the tub of paraffin there's my level there, so you can see I've done most of it. I've left a bit so you can see what to do, and this is what you do. So you press and hold the OK button, and then press the down arrow, and you see you get the H and the OFF flashing. You then press the UP arrow, and you can hear that pump's clicking and is in fact now priming. You see that level is going up there. Do, 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 do. Not far to go. Okay, as I said in the other video, um, when I first got this to get juice into the pipes quickly, I done a bit of fuel pipe fellatio, but if you're going to do that at home, be careful because paraffin used to be uh, a laxative back in the day. Okay, so right, and you just then plug this in into the bottom of the machine and we're good to go. I should say, I found these, these this machine tolerant to air, air pockets, as long as the air is moving through the pipe. If a little bit of air gets in there, it's in and gone. If you get an air lock and it's trapped, you're in trouble, you'll get an error code. So just make sure you not haven't got air trapped, but a little bit of air getting in, it's fine. I've got that much of a gap now. That's a, that's fine. I'll plug that in. That will clear through. So, hope that was of use. But as I said, unless you've got a really long run, you may be better off just by hitting the go button a few times. Anyway, thanks for watching.